Today I'm going to show you guys how a gold and silver test works and basically what to look for so that you don't get scammed or anything like that. And I'm also going to show you a trick on diamonds. Here we have 14 karat gold, 24 karat gold, and then we have some silver. So this is 14 karat right here. This is 24 karat over here. We'll put it all the way over here. Now here's the thing, these are acids. Depending on the purity will depend on which one it'll dissolve. So it's basically just a higher concentration. 18 or 22 carat is a higher concentration than 14 or 10 carat. So when you test on say something like this with 10 carat, it's not gonna dissolve. 14 carat also won't dissolve because that's what it's made for. So this is a 14 carat gold. You'll see when the acid goes on there, it doesn't dissolve it because of the purity content of the gold and the acid. Now you see how it's still staying there? You wanna watch it for a minute and make sure it doesn't go away because you can get tricked. What people will do is they'll take plated silver of like uh, 24 karat plated silver where it's not solid gold, it's silver and just has a thin layer of plate over the top of it in 24 karat. Maybe it's a little bit of a thicker plate and when you test it, they'll try to tell you it's a 10 karat gold chain or something. And then you'll test it with 10 karat and it will It'll test, it'll test good for 10 carat because the, the gold concentration is much higher. But so that's why you wanna let it sit for a second to see if it does dissolve. Now, if you watch here, I'm gonna put the 22 carat on the 14. You're gonna watch, it's just gonna disappear. See how it's just eating it away? See how it's getting less and less compared to that other one? That's because this is 14 carat, not 22 carat. So the higher concentration of acid will dissolve it. We have two silver coins. This one is a pure silver, 0.999. We're gonna put it right there, nice and thick. And most coin silver is 80%. Now, the trick here is the best way to test it is not with the silver tester, it's actually with gold tester, 18 carat. And what happens is it will turn blue. Now, the higher concentration of silver will turn a brighter blue than the lower concentration, as you can see, brighter blue, not as bright, right? So you can kind of tell the purity of the silver. Now, here is an actual silver tester and it turns red. So you notice it's turning red, but this one can be tricked a lot easier than the, the gold tester. Diamonds, there's natural and then there's lab grown, right? For real diamonds, they're both real diamonds. However, uh, natural diamonds that are found in the ground are much more valuable. And the way you can check that is with a UV light. You turn on a UV light and you shine it, you'll see they turn fluorescent. That's from the nitrogen and boron from the growth of the diamond. And you see how it's shining back, you see yellows, blues, sometimes maybe a hint of green or purple. Typically lab-grown diamonds will not have the fluorescent color under the UV light. Sometimes companies try to trick you and add a little additives to it and you'll have a little bit, but the bright colors from the UV light come from natural diamonds.